Alrighty then, good afternoon. Oh jeez, excuse me. Good afternoon there everybody. Silver Dragon here, gonna be uh, doing my weekly Masterwork Dwarf Fortress episode today. Uh, <laughs> apparently I still have this goddamn cough which is driving me up the freaking wall. <coughs> ah shit, let me, let me deal with this piece of crap here quickly and then I will be able to actually <laughs> talk for two seconds without coughing. Jeez. I swear, there's that just nothing seems to kill this thing. I don't even know why. There we go. All right, that should help for a bit. Anyway, uh, generally speaking, it seems I didn't get as much, too much response, except for one person that really wanted to see more Dwarf Fortress every every week. So, <laughs> damn. So generally speaking, I think I am going to be getting rid of the uh, Orc Fortress uh, for now, just because there's no real difference anymore between them uh, with the expedition uh, for the Dwarves now, so since there's not much difference, uh, the entire thing that, pretty much the whole thing that made me interested in playing the Orcs isn't there anymore, so I'm probably going to probably gonna just put that aside for now and I might get back to it another time. Uh, anyway, there's a couple people that did want to get uh, dwarfed here, so I will see what I can find for them, and then I will start uh, working my way through here and getting a lot of things done. I have to go through this entire new migration wave and start assigning these guys to get some jobs done, because there's a lot that needs to get done, and not a lot of time to do it. Alright, so let's get it going here. We have a couple new miners, actually we have four new miners, which is good. We're going to be able to get a lot of stuff done. Uh, we have a couple of new uh, trappers and animal tamers. I'll let them uh, continue to do just whatever. Probably have them do masonry work. I'll assign quite a few of them to be uh, farmers as well. Currently only have two that are. I have one that's a butcher, that's pretty good. So, let's see here. Stooley wants to be named whatever, so I'm going to give you my new level 10 miner. I wonder if he's a miner or savant in that sense. We'll find out in a second. So I'll give that to you, good sir. Alright. Yep, you are actually a talented priest, surprisingly enough. But you've got accomplished my <laughs> accomplished miner. Interesting. I might make you the priest. Anyway, let's take a look here. That weaponsmith cannot be used yet. The stone crafter. Hi, Master Mason. And let's see, who else? Somebody else requested another one here. Let's see. I want to get the stone detailer. Okay. Well, this one is the stone detailer, so I'll give that to you, uh, Sir Muriel. And you did mention that uh, you could floor in, <coughs> excuse me, you could floor in <laughs> above the uh, farm, the outdoor farm, and it would still be with whatever, and it would still be considered uh, above ground. Now that interests me, because I never thought that would actually work in that sense. I figured uh, it would need the direct sunlight without anything blocking it, which the glass would provide. But, also, I just like the aesthetic of glass, of a glass roof, to be honest. <sighs> so, I will do it for now, with just the usual floor. And then I'll see about closing it in later. With something else. So, this is going to be one huge floor here. Obviously, I need a hundred blocks minimum. And I don't have anywhere near that, so I need to go get a lot of blocks before I can even consider doing that. Now, let's find a group of ones that aren't that useful. These ones are kids, so I cannot give them any jobs. I'll let them do that for now. These ones are all generally not that useful right now. There's a level 3 plant gatherer, which isn't too bad, but I think I have a much higher plant gatherer. Yeah, in level 19, he's currently doing that job. So I'll disable all those. I'll give you guys you four farming. Everyone's gonna be hauling, that's gonna be without exception in that sense. 
We have a couple high-level stone crafters now, so that's good. I'll have this guy do nothing but st no. Actually, wait, that's your that's your guy. You'll be uh, stone detailing actually. I disable that. All right, that should be good. So we'll have you start actually digging all that stir digging. I'll have you start hauling all that stuff and uh, smoothing stuff out and such. <sighs> Actually, you know what? You shouldn't be hauling at all. So let me get rid of that issue. Go to the right. Toggle it off. Unfortunately, they brought a lot of freaking children with them. Which I'm not so much of a fan of. But we'll see what we can do. We should be able to sustain them easily enough without much hassle. Alright. So let's go down here. And we'll start designating everything that needs to be done. Okay, especially this needs to be done. Yep, nailed it. <coughs> Excuse me. Man, this just seems to be getting worse. Well, not not necessarily worse, but it's not getting any better. I swear, I've had this cough for at least two weeks now, and it's just not not going to, not going away at all. It's just sticking with me, like that pesky mosquito just won't die. But anyway, let's see. We now have a total of. Pardon me if you hear a lot of this stuff in here. I'm just trying to get rid of the stupid cough. Or at least calm it down. Uh, let's see. 45 at the moment. Let me get rid of that bit there. 45. And there is... Let's see here. Twenty-four, forty-eight. See, so even this is enough to... Uh, once I get it fully furnished, to take care of the dwarves we currently possess. But I do want to expand this to about here. Which would uh, double that up. There we go. Make it about 96. I could just extend this all the way and then get rid of the center, but... Meh. I'm patient enough to get done this way. For now. Even though I don't have the most innumerable amount of time to uh, spend doing it. It's not like it takes that long. Just to do it this way. Alright, now this will net me with some building materials, but regardless, I still need them to uh, dig out a whole area. And since we have so many miners now, we'll be able to get a lot of stuff done. I should say a lot of stuff mined out. I also need to get the miners working on a. Uh, <clears throat> on getting a uh, barracks built. So let me take a look up here. Do we have an area set aside for a barracks yet? No, we don't. You know what? I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a multi barracks complex here going on. this so we'll have two different barracks in here <coughs> all right there we go one will be set up for archery up as I usually do. Downward stair, upward stair. Alright. So let's go about here. There we go, that's perfect. 
they'll start working on that. They'll get that done ASAP. Let me designate some more trees. Actually, how much my current stock of trees? Let me check my wood stockpile. Low, I would say. Fairly low. Alright, let's designate that. Well, let that tree be cut down right there quickly so I can get rid of that and start to uh, finish digging that bit in. Alright, let's get rid of a whole swath of trees over here. And let me designate a lot of plants to be harvested as well. <coughs> I'll have an excellent plant harvester get to work on this stuff. They'll have it all, all brought up in no time. There we go, beautiful. You can see they're just now starting to haul ass inside the fortress, so we've gone from 20 odd idlers now down to 6, which is really good. Uh, usually, when I get a 200 dwarf fortress, I can usually get the idlers down to about 7. 7 to seven to 20, it varies every now and then. But having a 200 for dwarf fortress and getting them that low is, is ideal. Because if you can keep them working like crazy in that, then damn. Who's fighting? Weasel is fighting. Who's hunting weasels? Turn kill. Apparently he still is hunting enabled. <coughs> Stinthod. Yeah, a few of these guys do. Must have missed them somehow. Hmm. My bad. Alright. There we go. So. I still gotta get a whole lot of woodwork uh, done in here. Let me... Let me have these... Carved in as fortifications here. So I'll be able to have some guys defend that. Let me go down as well. I'll have them start... This is gonna be a huge project for my guy. Well, first things first, I do want to... I do want to mine out this anthracite because it is a very valuable material as well. And I have to get it mined out. Basically, every single one of those counts as 12 coke coal. So I need to get those dealt with. Oh, he's got possessed. Shit. Yes, I shall be your hands. <laughs> Ah, uh, the armor got possessed. Of course, he took the Melsmith's Forge over. Oh, yes, and also to uh, Sir Morel, you had mentioned how my guy, that was my weight, and how the guy's appraisal wasn't uh, there. Well, actually, if I look at it, the weight is actually over on the left here, which is a 32 and such. This is actually... <coughs> this actually is the base value. Now, whether or not <laughs> it says 10... Just because the guy can't actually tell what his value is, it's so high. I honestly am not sure. Uh, he is currently a level 3 appraiser. And that's generally enough. I've never really had any issues with, with appraising things at that level. But, you could be right. I'm not sure. But, yeah. Anyway. Let me continue. Oh, we're down to two idlers now. Good. Nice, he already began his mysterious construction. That's good. I guess this might be the deciding factor in that sense, then. There we go, one of those dwarves is coming out here to do it. Alright, let's see how they're progressing here. Why the frack is there a... Oh. For a second there, I was, like, confused. He created a slag plate boot. Let's see. Yeah, this one is also... Because it's a plate boot, its value went up a little bit, but... Its value is still incredibly low. Being that this is Slade. 
Okay, that's in place. Floodgate number one. Floodgate number two. That's all I'll move into place for now. Just so that they're able to get out of there. Council's milk creature, no creature. What do we have here? We just got ourselves a caravan. Elven caravan has arrived. How lovely for them. Alright, let me get some of those things built here. Metalsmith's Forge. Actually, what do we even have for bars is the question right now. Six iron bars, eight steel, which is nice. Four pig iron, two mithril. So we need more, we need a lot more bars, a lot more bars. I also need to start getting some more steel bars. <clears throat> Let me go over here to trap components. I'll build one just for the value of it. <coughs> oh, damn it. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. You had mentioned, uh, let's see, saw blade or serrated discs? Hmm. That's the thing, though. I believe Masterwork Dwarf Fortress had actually balanced that, but I'm not 100% sure. I know I can't make the steel serrated disc, it seems like. I can make steel pistons and all that, but I don't see serrated discs in there. It wasn't trap components, was I not? Yes, it was. Let's see if we have anything for iron that's different. No. Hmm. It's not wooden be siege equipment. Let's check out the other list then. Spiked, uh, spiked minecart, which is a little weird, but all right. Bladed minecart. I suppose you could use a minecart as a trap. Spiked track trap, yeah. Uh, iron magma tanker, wheelbarrow. Yeah, I don't even think I can make the serrated discs now for some reason. Hmm. Unless it's in weapons and I'm just blind. Iron. Nope. Didn't see it there either. Well, I'll just trade whatever it is I have to trade. That'll be it. Alright, move the goods to depot. Let's move what we got. If we even have much of anything. Alright. Actually, let's disassemble this guy. There we go, they're disassembling that one. Just so we don't have any confusion as to where stuff is going. And... It <clears throat> Excuse me. We do have good depot access, that's good. I'll start getting people hauling that stuff there. Hmm, do I have a... Yeah, I have a dump power here. Let me claim everything in that. Oh wow, this jeweler is going to be busy for quite a while. Cut. There we go. Once he's done that, I'll have him start actually encrusting some stuff. Uh, I need to get a large amount of uh, ores and such and start uh, dealing with uh, smelting it and such. I might have to go find some magma soon as well. Alright, let me check how they've done with the bedrooms. Uh, they're almost completely done. Look at them go, those industrious little dwarves. Keep it up, mates. Alright, carpenter's workshop. I'm just gonna go unit manager. No, I guess I should say... Wooden bedroom set. No. I just find it easier if I go construct, just because it's the first one there. Alright, I'm going to say construct 30 wooden beds. 
There we go. Resume, my friend. Resume. Hmm. On behalf of the Merchants Guild, we extend our greetings to your people. There's much to discuss. I'm sure there is. What issues are you having? Apparently there's not enough goats now to supply the milk we need. Ah, well, there's a lot of them that are growing up pretty soon. These goat kids. So they will be uh, growing up. We'll slaughter the males. And then see about uh, what we're going to do with the females in that sense. Alright, let's dump all this stuff. Get it all into the downstairs. So I'll give them something to haul. So the dragon has become the expedition leader. Oh, fuck it. I'll have anyone. I'll have somebody else trade here. Oh. I see a gap in my wall, too. I must have gotten rid of the tree without for, uh, without rebuilding the wall. That's a mistake I should remedy quickly. Alright. Let's see here. Let's start trading. Oxal bracelets. I haven't had the chance to encrust any of this stuff. I'm tempted to bring it back down there and have my guy just start encrusting it like crazy. Just a couple of these are encrusted though. Alright. There we go. That gives us 3,000 buying power. It's not a lot. We have a lot of wood, of course, we could buy. We also have a lot of wood around here. I'm looking for the more valuable stuff first, though. Turtle Dove, dear God, whatever that is. River Spirits. Strawberry Wine. Really, is that all the alcohol you guys brought with you? You guys are terrible trading partners. Terrible, I say. I'll buy the strawberry seeds. Hmm... Don't need any sandbags. Cloth bin. Definitely buy some cloth. That'll keep my uh, clothes makers, if I ever get any, busy for quite a while. Now we just travel down here for a while till we actually get to something useful. All right, a bunch of amulets, some anvils. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, I'll trade some of those, but I won't keep a lot of them. Wow, they really did not bring much of interest, did they? Wow, oh, no, they did not at all. In that case, I'm gonna. Start on trading a lot of stuff, all my valuable stuff. You really want the good shit, don't you? To hell with you, though. You're not getting my best items. It's not gonna happen. trade you the equivalent in shitty items, but that's all you're getting. And they didn't even bring any food with them, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. I prefer when they bring a lot more food than they did. Oh, who's injured? Who's What's going on here? Oh no! Where is the snatcher?
All you stupid children out here. Go kill this guy before that child is dead. Sir, I hate saying no to you, but no. Be down for seeing me. You're actually killing my dwarven children too. <coughs> ah, Gazus, my plants are foiled. Dear God, I'm finding a lot of these dark witch motherfuckers, and they're just killing my children. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. The only bad thing is that the mood move for them is gonna start going down like crazy. I wanna know what's where's my freaking militiaman? Who is my only militiaman right now? Is the question as well. Zytek. Alright, what are you doing, my friend? Let's see if I can find you here and see what the hell is taking you so long to get up here. Well, he's doing it, but where the hell is he? Is the question. Zoom to creature. <coughs> hmm. Wait, they have a drow spider? I didn't see. Oh, well, that's what they're bringing. Oh, that's what they brought their stuff with. I see. Okay, that sucked. They just got pretty slaughtered there for a moment. All right, let's go down here and see. Okay, this has been completely cleared out. That's good. We did get some new building materials from that, but we do need a we did need a lot more than that. Basically, is what I'm saying. Oh my god, I can't even talk. It's terrible. Terrible. All right, I'll have them start digging this out. And what do we have for military guys, too? Because I need to start setting up uh, a better military. Only ones we have are ranged, and the rest we can't really use. Well, we can, but they're not going to be that useful, unfortunately. Shit. So that's where I've gotten unlucky, is that I just don't have enough enough guys where I could properly uh, set up a good military. So I need, I need a good embark of combat dwarves is what I need. Alright, they're digging away there slowly. They're digging away. It's good. What would you like from our merchants? More of anything that's half as decent for one. We'll say we want those and fisher berries. I'd also like... Let me turn this thing off quickly. All right. Definitely want some magma hounds. I'm only gonna go for the things that'll actually be useful to me. Definitely want some unicorns. Sauropods, dragon raptors, most definitely. Rhinos, tempting. Uh, you know what? Why not? I'll put rhinos on there. That'd be an interesting pet. Tigers, lions. Just because I want an iron war or iron war elephant, I will go for that. I'll set up a whole area. Underground, just for training war, uh, training and housing of war animals, and the breeding of them as well. Great horned owl, huh? Albino forest leech, lovely. Maned wolf, sloth, king cobra, cobra. Yeah, not quite. Drakes aren't too bad, but they spit fire. Generally, I'm moving away from dragons and drakes just because they're useful at times, but they also get raped really quickly. I didn't know how weak dragons actually were until I fought, until I had a couple. Now I realize any dragon I fight against, all I need is a shield, and I'm basically just walking on sunshine or toast. 
Uh, giant drill spider is debatable. I'll just say no for now. Hopefully they'll bring it another time. Forest griffins? Yeah, hell yeah. I'll say yes to forest griffins. Pandas, just so I can... Well, that's tempting. That's tempting, but I'll say, I'll say no for now. Grizzly bears, yes. Brown the coos spiders, blah de blah blah. Ironclad sauropod. You know what? I'll say I'll go for that. Just because I doubt I'll be able to ironclad them myself. So let me go down the regular sauropod and get rid of that. Alright. And of course, bring all your beer. That's all I really want from you guys, to be honest. Let's see if you have anything else in the misc that intrigues me. Lie, of course, isn't too bad, but I can get... I can just go for soap, specifically from somebody. Bunch of logs, bows, trend seeds. No, you really don't have anything of interest at all. Alright, good enough. Good enough. Wow, they're going to clear this out of here in no time. Damn. Cancels make steel bars, needs flux stones. Yeah, that's also an issue. Needs a rotten milk item. Yeah, he does that a lot. Complains about that a lot. I should have him milk him then. For the next while. Yay, it's summer. Huzzah. Alright. Now I need to find me some, uh, actually let me go into this thing. Probably because he's gone to the workshop now. Where's my farmer's workshop? It was around here somewhere. Carpenter. Ah, oh, here it is. I'm just blind. Go over the documents. Don't really care. Rough emeralds. So he's basically just running on materials. That's all right. All right. So it's about time we check on this bit here. Now we're have to check on the me on the uh, mechanic and get a lot of stuff uh, set up here. Build floodgate. More floodgate. Let's go to the masonry. I need one more floodgate, good sir. I really need a lot of tables and chairs. Alright, he's making that stuff. That's good. Alright, that's good for now. Alright, let's go up here then since you've done a lot of that. Let me start encrusting. Now he'll start encrusting a lot of stuff, as well as digging it up. Now, I'd rather have a few more mechanisms, just to be safe. By a few, I mean a lot. Okay, I was suspended for some reason. Let's have him unsuspend that. I do want to get my main door shut soon. Alright, I also need to get some spy areas set up here. Finish peeking at the documents. Alright, if I ever get enough dogs to do it. Okay, generally we're pretty good for that. I would like to get a new majority of the walls built as well, so I'll just start on working on that now. I'll make that bit out of basalt for now. I want to make this out of... Ah, we have a lot of schist now. Good. I'll have them get those two sections done. 
Once the topmost sections are done, I'll have them start working on a lot more stuff there. No, 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 no. No. What are you complaining about? Need strawberry seeds. Alright. Let's start brewing some drink then. Start brewing some strawberry wine. And that should give you something. How is my stocks for that right now? Drink stocks are pretty decent. I also need to start making a lot of uh, food. Oh, what's this? Make sausages. Okay, fungi cheese. Boozeberry cheese. Render fat to tallow. I'll do a bit of that. Other than that, keep making your keep making your meals, my friend. Do we have any more eggs? Not yet. Oh wow, we have a lot of fish in this river right now. I do need to start getting a lot of uh, good fishers going here. Let me see, who do I have with fishing? We have two guys currently, no, three that currently have fishing. That guy's doing a good job right now, he's level four fisher. So he's getting us, he's netting us a good portion of, uh, good portion of that right now. Alright, so let's resume. I'll have my guy start hooking this up. Alright, let me set up the uh, side here. No text, this is the... the water system. Alright. Here we go. What should I do for that? Alright. This one will be the... Hmm. That's terrible. No. That'll work. Alright, place, no text. Uh, this is for the two wells down below, so... That would be... for the overflow and we'll see what I use the last one for all right floodgate add a new task link to floodgate Actually, I'm debating even having this here. Yeah, I'm probably going to remove that one, even. I believe I made that one my main. Yeah. Because there's no point, it's just going to flood in there, and I'm just going to cut it off, so it'll be fine. Alright. to floodgate there we go so we'll have him do that now if I go down to this wait oh I see oh good I don't need that because the main well is already under the main reservoir, so I don't actually have to channel out a separate area. Ah, I see. I see. Alright, yeah, that makes things easier. So in that case, let me go back to this. Let 
no test or no text. All right, that was just the hospital well cut off. All right, that's good. Have I linked up the rest of these? I hope I have. Where the hell are you going? Miner with no job. That seems ridiculous to me. Oh, damn, they did finish it. Ah! Well, shit, damn. In that case, let me give you guys some, some more work to do. I'll design out this whole area like I usually used to do it. What I'm basically going to do is create a multi-level little underground fortress here for defending against any uh, underground intrusions. Well, let's just do it the way I usually do it for that. need this Y, but that'll be good for now. There we go. Now we go up here, upstairs, upstairs, Downward stairs. Downward stairs. And then we basically just copy the whole thing here. As generally as one can. Alright. I believe that's about right. Now this is the bit right, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> can't even talk. Now this is the bit right here that is basically going to be getting channeled down. And that's going to create a, what is essentially a giant gap here in that sense. Let me go down here for a second. Thought so. There we go, so I'll create a little entrance on each side. So, the reason I'm doing this is to keep them walled in into this area here. Which I'll probably even go like that. Because unless archers have a certain skill level, I believe it's, uh, I believe it's competent, they will not shoot through any, uh, any of these areas like this. Unless it's at a certain... Let me get rid of this one though for a second, just because I need them to go through there for now. And start digging this out. Uh, they will not shoot through any fortifications unless they're standing right beside it. Other archers of higher level will be able to shoot regardless of that, but... For the main ones, we need that. Alright. I'll keep them busy for quite a while. Alright, so my miners are getting down there now. They're starting to dig this guy out. Needs unrotten milk item. But of course you do. Don't you always. As a matter of fact, just for safety reasons, I'll even extend this further. Than I usually would. I'll have them dig out the whole fortress here before I have them extend this bit. 
There we go. That'll keep him busy for quite a while. The elves have left. Thank God. Now we can get back to work. Without their elven distractions. Alright. Let's start extending the walls. them suspend a lot of these until they get the other ones built they probably could build it without it just from the an angle but I want to make sure they build it as I guess I could say as comfortably as possible but I really just want them to make sure they build it correctly and don't take a long ass time about it I'll just let them go at that one. Divmet has left unhappy. Screw him. Not like I care. He's an elven diplomat. I gave him all the terms. It's not my fault he couldn't catch up to, uh, to finish discussions. Alright, I need to set up a new one here. Hotkey. F5. Zoom here. There we go. Oh dear lord, not another baby. Why? Why do you torment me? Ah well, that sucks. Far too many babies. Alright, so we're gonna see if I can uh, dig down here soon and start finding my flux stone, because I really. I need more flux stone. I just need more flux stone. That's the. That's the gist of it. That's, cannot reach sight. That's why I didn't want you. I figured you would have issues with those. I'm not moving this worth shit anyway, so I'm just gonna reclaim it or cancel the dump on it. Cause this is my flux stone. It's just that I was trying to dump it to get it closer to here, but they weren't actually doing it, so it became useless in that sense. Alright, so we get as much steel as we can get made. Uh, we are producing enough iron for the moment. Let me expand the bars and block stockpile, just because it's that freaking huge and it's that much of an in does it's that huge of an industry, I guess I should say. So it deserves a giant stockpile. This one's my furniture stockpile. Uh, let me build a larger furniture stockpile as well. We'll expand that down to at least here. Time to get some of my idlers to work. Fortis Rex. Unfortunately, probably not going to finish its uh, Kickstarter as not enough people have been putting towards it. Pretty small goal as well for 7k, considering some others in that sense, which just would have covered their bare minimum of programs and such. But it seems like not enough people are interested in the game, which is too bad. It seemed in a really uh, quite an interesting little uh, Mountain Blade style of uh, combat and Empire Builder. Although different, I have to say. It's not the same exact same style, obviously. But it intrigued me nonetheless. Damn shame it won't uh, end up 
completing. There we go. Did I just use an armor stand here? Why did I build an armor stand there? There we go. Did I already designate all these? Nope. Well, I'll do that soon. Alright, let me check down here. I tried to come help, but he was take it was finished pretty quickly. I'll have them quickly remove this, and I'll have them start working towards the depths. Got some guys injured from that. Hopefully they're all right. So it was only some mild injuries. Now that's why you don't uh, designate another part of it to be dug out unless the first one has already been completely dug out, because it causes collapses. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. I should just cancel my entire cheese making industry for now until I have more goats. Because right now it seems to be more of a bother of spamming up my ch uh, spamming up my alert system than anything that's actually useful. Unfortunately, every now and then I'll just probably have a milk it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. More than likely. Yeah, unit, uh, unit man manager, cancel. Remove that order. Whoa, what mass amount of freaking wall are you canceling? Damn, idiots. They lose shit too easily. There we go. There we go, have them remove that bit. For some reason it's taking them a while to get that one done. Probably because someone come from halfway across the map is trying to come in there to uh, do that, which is what's causing the issue. <coughs> Alright, keep it going boys, we almost got this finished, then we can get on out of here. Alright, so at the very least we managed to get a lot of our guys actually doing something. So out of that damn idle state. Always the top one seems to have the issues. Slowly retracting this in here. All right, let's have at our boys. Down to the depths we go. Da 
down the stairway. I'll have them go down 20. For now. Alright, so let's have them fix these freaking walls because I don't know what the hell they're smoking. With all the shifts we have, it's like, oh wait, maybe we should have the bright idea of, you know, we can't find this amount, we can't find the shifts that we were specifically designated to build this wall with, but you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna take this other random piece of schist that no one has claimed yet, and we're gonna do the job. Instead, they just say, "Nope, nope, not gonna do it. Can't find that one one piece of schist that was supposed to be specifically for this job, so we're not gonna do it." It's like you lazy bastards. There we go. With that, you better get your asses to work. Alright, so that's the only part of the river that actually really freezes over in the winter. So we should be good for that for now. Which is approaching soon. Alright. Oh great, more migrants. Just what I needed. Alright, what do I get? Hopefully something good. Hopefully not a lot. Okay, we got 10 new migrants, looks like. Or 12, yeah, 12 new migrants. Uh, we have a doctor now. We have uh, someone for uh, that's going to be a proficient doctor. Let's see here. He's a talented doctor. So this is going to be my main uh, doctor. He's also a really good milker, it seems. So for somebody, if anybody that wants themselves to be my uh, primary doctor, now's your chance. I actually have one. Okay, siege operating, siege engineering. All in all, they're not amazing. Let's hope they have good military skills, because I really need some good military dwarves. We have ourselves a talented sniper, who is not a, who is not a freaking child for once. So it seems like our first major military group is going to be a marksman squad. I am going to have to set them up before I uh, end up ending this for today. So I'm gonna let them uh, let them jaunt around for now. Let me go build workshop. Let's get a just get a bowers workshop in here. Create some basic crossbows. I don't even care. Make it out of slag. All right. Let me know if you guys strike anything interesting. Granite. Fortunately, granite is not a flux stone. Wow, they're going to whip through that in no time at all. Would you, wankers, stop canceling walls? It's really frustrating. Alright. Suspend the construction of a wall. There you go. Everything should be able to be built now. Don't know why these haven't been built yet, but I guess it's just taking time. Alright, so let them do that. Now, what do I have for stocks for that? Let me take a look, even. Weapons. I have... Ooh, large iron dagger, so I can actually ironclad somebody. Large iron bone dagger. Steel battle axe. Copper axe. I have a lot of picks. A lot of battle picks. Okay, good. I have one crossbow. That's it, one rose gold crossbow. So I need to make quite a bit more than that. For now, I'm just going to temporarily rename these guys so I know what the hell they're doing. Well, I 
Okay, so we have five ranged in that case. Let me commit that change. Go over to labors and see what they're actually doing. Ranged leader has no applicable skills of interest. Neither do two or three. Well, two is a fisher, but that's not too bad. I'll leave, I'll leave that on there for now. Okay, let's check out the other ranged ones, make sure they're all right. Range five is just a mason. Range four has nothing of interest, he's just a farmer. Okay, so all the guys I have assigned to the range squad can be tossed in the range squad 24-7. Uh, all right, so we have at least five of them, so I need to, let's see. One hour, let's make six crossbows. Uh, do I have a, let's build workshop. I wish I had any leather, but I don't, unfortunately. All right. Get a clothes a clothers workshop. Hopefully I can make some cloth quivers. Not 100% on that. good. That'll allow me enough workshops to get in there and finish that off. Good, so I'll have them do that. And I should, oh my god, I've been completely abandoning my, uh, my water system. I completely forgot about it. Alright, let me pull the levers here currently. So let me pull those. So those two should go down. Remove that one. Alright. All that pulled for now as well. We should open that one. Build. Floodgate. Get that guy in place there. Alright, and then we're going to start flooding this thing soon before I end up quitting. I want to make sure this is getting flooded. Alright, so... Which one is the main cutoff? The second one. Main cistern cutoff. Let's pull that again. So we can have that blocked off. Okay. The overflow is this one right here. Link to floodgate. There you go, my friend. All right. Let's dig her up, boys. Alligator is fighting. Ah, oh, it's because the freaking ranger is fighting him when he shouldn't be. Annoying little bastard. Alright, let me check my stocks here quickly as well, make sure I have the required... Uh, where are they? Weapons... Quivers, there you are. I have six quivers, good, that is enough for them. Okay, so I'm good. Whew. I was worried there for a second I wouldn't have enough. Alright, let me have them create some... Uh, wood... Bolts. There we go. Have them create a ton of wooden bolts for now. So I can get them training quickly. There we go. Looks like my time has already passed for today. Has been over an hour, but I will extend this slightly today just so I can... Whoa. Get this done. Oh, shit. Who... I was like, who died? Who died? Okay, let me forbid passage now. Keep it tightly closed. We don't want the water forcing its way through. Into there. Let's see. Good, he's hooking that up. So the flood has begun. So we'll get this place stuffed up full of water. 
and then we'll actually be able to get some things, uh, some things built for that. All right, let me go iron, and I'll build, build furniture. I think it is. Build iron chain. Need at least two iron chains. Although I only really need the one, but you know, <clears throat> for later, you never know. Oh, and I forgot to go check and see what they've what they uncovered down here. Let me take a look here. Gabbro, Gabbro. Marble, here we go. Ooh, dangerous, dangerous. Weep warp stone. Okay, at least it's weak. If it was if it was uh anything more than weak, I'd be in major shit. Alright, let's have them start mining out all this gold here. For one. I'm gonna have you guys dig out what is this? Malachite, I figured as much. I'm gonna have them dig out a whole swath of this marble. Giant ass chamber of marble. There we go. Alright, so that wall has been generally completed. Oh, interesting. We have a mare now as well. Noble screen is an unnamed mare, Doran. Let's see what he does. Oh, he's my woodcrafter and cart and such. Or no, let's see. Okay, Dwar it's Darren E. Yeah, it is my woodcrafter. So this guy's my mare now. So if somebody wants to be named after my mare, uh, let me know and I will see about designating you with that. Export of backpacks has been prohibited, that's alright. I also need to get him a decent office later as well. So, anyway, um, I'm going to have to end this soon, so I better quickly check on some things. This is flooding well according to plan. It's good. Alright. Everything else is being dug out well. We actually get a... There we go. We'll get a bridge there. We'll wall this baby off. All right, that's good. Okay, a lot of stuff has gotten done there. Get that one built. All right, beautiful, looking, looking good here. Okay, we managed to get quite a bit accomplished this week. We got some uh, minor, oh crap. Oh crap, that's not good. Looks like we have to deal with a metal elemental before anything else. More than likely it is going to be a gold elemental, so my guy should be able to handle it. Let me take a look at him quickly, if I can find him. There he is. Alright, um, no alerts. Yeah, it is, it is golden ore. So, that should be okay. Okay. Unit list. Do I even have a burrow set up yet? No, I do not. Alright, let me set up a burrow then. Quickly. Alright. Extend this to here. Get most of this designated off. There we go. Because I have to get them away from that shifting elemental or they're going to be in trouble. 
Uh, they might be able to handle it because they do have picks of a decent caliber, but I'd rather not risk it if at all possible. Alright. It's good enough for now. I can redesignate the rest of the stuff later. get this done here. I'm gonna designate this whole swath of area here. Whoops, except all this is not where I want them to be. <laughs> I would rather not be on the outside falling down into the pit of death. that. There we go. Alright, down. Here we go. God. Man, I should have got this established a long time ago. That's my bad. Ah well. It's getting it, getting it done now when we need it. That's a good part at least. Or the important bit, I should say. Swaths of this, there we go. Of course, this continues down the hospital and all the surrounding, as well as all this can be used. This is about as far as I will allow them to go. Alright, name the borough. Uh, let's see. No. I don't know. I'll just call home. The home borough. Alright. Military alert, ad alert. Run alert. Designate it. Whoop. Oh, that's a bunch of alligators and my dogs are fighting. Ourselves. Oh, what's this? Inspiration. Metal Wraith. Core of solid metal. Alright. What do you have on you, my friend? Okay, he has a steel battle axe. He should, should be able to handle it. Because it is only gold, so it is a pretty weak ore. God, seriously, what is with the fighting going on here, and why is something not dead yet? Okay, looks like the stray ironclad dog was, was shaken around by his head there, yep. Okay, that was quickly, oh wow, no, it's actually being, it's actually being quite a little battle here. Left arm with the left hand, attack on, why are you using your hand? You have a battle axe, you idiot. 
All right, there we go. He makes an undercut swing of the metal wraith with the left hand with the power of a steel battle axe and the severed part sail off an arc good. So basically, this is showing that my guy is well armed for this battle. And he did it. He did it. Okay, so we can turn off the alert now. Military alert. Active training. And we can send him back to work. Okay, that was a bit tricky for a bit there. Uh, he dropped all his stuff down here. Ha! Huh. Oz's brain. So the guy, the miner that... It's, it's weird how this works. Your miner turns into an elemental to begin with. And then he turns back into a dwarf, and he leaves body parts behind. It's so weird. So literally, I have a miner walking around now without a brain. <laughs> Look, quite, quite literally, without a brain. That's kind of funny. He's not dead, but he's walking around without a brain. <laughs> oh, that's freaking hilarious. Alright, so there is... You know what? I'm gonna have him get out here and kill, help kill this thing. Just so I can get that done quickly. Pardon for that, guys. Alright, so they should help with he should help with that and get rid of this damn alligator quickly. And then we'll be able to just call it and get this done. Alright, so my guys are doing a pretty good job now. Next time, let's see. Uh, we got the walls built here to say keep us safe from winter. Uh, when the next winter does roll around, I'm gonna quickly build a uh, wall in the center here for an attempt to cut off this river so I can start working on the mega project and then I'll see about what else I can get done I'll probably extend this here to be a much longer bridge with uh, traps as well as some dogs in it to protect everything I will, uh, let's see here, see about expanding some of my metal industries and uh, of course covering over the farm area with uh, whatever I'll see about getting all the marble cut out of there and getting a much better military squad established as I do have to get my rangers established. And would I I need to really get my guy over there. Oh really? Really? That's just effing annoying. What is it? Okay, it's a sphere light ore. That's alright, so I'll station my guy down there. Transform into a talented priest. Get out of there, you fools. Run! You are literally about to be raped here in two seconds if you do not get out of there right now. Where the hell is that militia commander? It's taking forever to get down here. He took he didn't even get to that dog in time. I don't know where the hell he was he's been this whole time. Okay, he's running down there. Okay, finally that battle out front is over. Oh my god, it's not. Fuck, where's Metal Wraith? No way, Metal Wraith can't be outside. What? Let me look at others here. How the frack is there a Metal Wraith outside right now? He was supposed to spawn inside. Somehow spawned outside. I hope my ironclad war dog there can slow him down a bit. Our ironclad mastiff. Oh wow, they managed to finish him off. Good job, dogs. Good job. No. All right. So we're getting a lot of metal wraiths now, it seems. So I don't know what ha Yeah, Stooley's brain. Now Stooley has no brain. Ha! <laughs> Alright, now I need to end this here. Okay, so we fought off a couple metal wraiths. We haven't gotten any sieges yet, but at this point they're inevitable, so I really do need to get my defenses set up for that. I do need to get some traps made. Speaking of which... I'll have him create a bunch of cages quickly in these workshops. 
so I don't forget next time because I sometimes do forget. Even though I look at these videos to make sure I don't forget. Alright, so next time I need to expand both of these corridors a bit. I'll expand this one a bit just to give them more of a channel. And I'll get a war dog stationed in there. A couple traps. I'll expand this one uh, probably down a bit and get some traps and the war dog in there. Uh, let's see, what else should I do for that? I will wait till when winter hits. I will try and block off this section of the river here. Or no, probably this section right here is a bit closer. Alright, so I'll get like a little 4x4 or 2x2 two two wall built here. And I'll surround that with additional walls. And then when winter is ended, it should collapse, I'd hope. Well, actually, no, it might not. But even if just this wall, the center wall collapses, that will still help in blocking off this river. And I can easily get it, the rest of it collapsed later. So as long as I start choking off the water supply, I'll be good. Alright, so thank you guys for watching as per usual. If you uh, enjoy or if you want to dwarf it after you, please let, let me know and I will uh, see what I can do for you guys. We'll see what kind of challenges we can get into next time and get our marksmen, especially we got to get our rangers going. We do got to get our rangers equipped and ready to go. And I do need to get them uh, steel arrows as well if I can, just because I do need to, or steel bolts. I need to something that I'll be able to kill some of these elementals with. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any uh, suggestions, definitely uh, pass them off to me. Uh, thank you as always, Sir Muriel, for all the com for all the comments and such. And uh, I will hopefully see you guys on uh, Sunday. So yeah, have yourself a good one, everybody, and see y'all next time.